Hello and welcome to this lecture which I title Introduction Creating Coloring Books Themes and Concepts. This is a course that I have very much enjoyed constructing as it is just such a flat out good idea from so many directions that a person can have one heck of a lot of fun with this if one knows how to do it. The creation part of building a coloring book is surprisingly not that hard to learn how to do. Anyone knows how to upload a photo online, knows how to use an application like Microsoft Word, and has the wherewithal to be able to purchase or rent Adobe Photoshop, can be creating coloring books in probably less than an hour. Publishing a coloring book will probably take you about a day for the first one, mainly because you need to learn how to do it, and the first one always takes longer. Once you've learned how to publish it online, you can probably start getting them out there with less than half a day's worth of effort. And then you just learn how to promote them to others to make sales. Or just order them for yourself and hand them out to people if your intent is for more personal or direct use. Here are some reasons I've thought up as to why people might want to learn how to do this. First, from a personal perspective. Children and family picture coloring books. Create the coloring books for fun and print them off at home. No need to commercialize them at all. Just a new interesting way to create some fun. Take pictures of each other, of pets, toys, animals, zoos, and remembered landmarks. Wedding photo coloring books. Something fun to create and share with extended family members after the wedding as a thank you for attending gift. You might even put these on Amazon and tell those at the wedding to purchase them to help defray some of the costs of the wedding. Trips taken coloring books. To remember trips taken, camps attended, etc. Now from a business perspective. Use travel photos to create coloring books about different locations you've been to or obtained photos of online. Create the coloring book page and add a narrative or two about what people are looking at. And by the way, I also have a suggestion of creating a black and white thumbnail photo to include on in each page so people can see the real picture of the place as well. Color thumbnails could be done also, but just keep it in mind that they cost significantly more to print. See the wedding photo idea above as well. Wedding photographers could differentiate their services this way and build in another revenue stream for their wedding photography business. Offer a package of X quantity coloring books to be sent out after the wedding, containing also black and white or color photo thumbnails in the coloring books as well. School fundraisers. Coloring books featuring photos and coloring stencils of school outings, etc. Possibly get pledges to purchase or payment up front beforehand from parents as a fundraising option. And then post on Amazon as well and send out links to school supporters to purchase these online. Can be sold from a school website also. Coloring book albums of landmarks, travel destinations, animals, buildings, cars, boats, trains, people, wine bottles, postage stamps, etc. Pick a topic, get some pictures, generate the book, and sell it on Amazon. Doodle books. These are smaller in size coloring books that can fit in a purse or briefcase easily. Something to do. Sketching and coloring while sitting at a boring event or commuting to and from work on public transit, etc. Daytimers. Create pocket daytimers with a to-be-colored picture on each page. A new one for each day. Just something a little different to make the day more enjoyable for people. The cost of getting into something like this? Well, you're going to need a computer and you're going to need access to Adobe Photoshop. But this is an application many people already have. Publishing on Amazon is free. Publishing on CreateSpace is free. Getting photos for your coloring book is also free. Paying for additional advertising? That's an option to you. These are just some ideas I've come up with to help you understand the concept of this. Let your own creativity run and bring life to these suggested ideas or other ones you may think of. This is something you can do and create in your spare time that is creative, fun, and can earn additional income for you if you wish to take that path. That's all for this lecture. Bye for now.